Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would share with you some new stencils that I have in my shop and how to use these to create junk journal pages with journaling space. So there are two sets of files that I are two sets of uh, stencils that I have. This is one shape set and this is the other shape set. I went ahead and put just a touch of the best glue ever by scrap perfect so that's the best glue ever by scrap perfect i just made a little line and then let it air dry so that when i go to use these as masks they have a little bit of adhesive and will stay in place so let's get started here i use a box whenever i'm using tattered angels glimmer mist so that when i spray it doesn't go all over my desk it stays pretty concentrated in the box this is just a box that was left over from a Christmas present. I think I got perfume several years ago. I don't even think it says. Oh, it, it does. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana. It may be my husband's cologne set. So what I'm going to do is we're going to create a stencil design on here using the layers of stencils. So first I'm going to start with just the outside area so that I can colorize in here in the middle. I'm going to grab a couple of colors of Tattered Angels. This is Christmas Cherry. It is from the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist Kit that I have in my shop. You get six colors for $25.99. I'm going to spritz this on top. And I'm going ahead and spritzing it in the areas around the outside as well because I use it as a mop-up. So I'll take a piece of paper, this is just standard copy paper, and lay it on top and mop up the Tattered Angels that is on top of that stencil. And I love this effect because it then gives me a ready-made journaling space. Isn't that kind of cool? So I can leave it like this or I can go in and decorate and I'll show you some ideas that I've done. So here I've got the out inner portion decorated. So what I'm going to do next. All right, so now I'm going to lay this on top. All right, so I'm masking off where I've already sprayed and I've got a different color of Tattered Angels. This one is Peacock Turquoise from the same kit. And I'm going to spritz all the way around. And then I'm going to grab a new sheet of paper and lay that on top and mop up all of the Tattered Angels through both stencil designs. So what do you think? Now I've mopped it up and I've got this stencil design on a page. And if we lift all the stencils up, now we have a pattern around each of the blocks. What do you think of that? Isn't that kind of fun? I, I don't know. I was having fun playing with this stencil design idea anyway. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab, where'd I put it? I'm going to grab the journal lines stencil and lay that down. I'm going to lay the silhouette stencil on top of it. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah. And then I'm going to spritz just where the openings are. I'm going to grab another sheet of paper. And now I've got two unique looks. So now I've got lots of color all over. I could variegate it with different colors, but I have little spaces that I can write in. And if we lift the stencil, now we have the lines in those shapes. And you can take the pieces again and lay those over each design. I'm just going to slightly cover each one. This time I'm going to put another stencil here. And let's grab a different color. Let's do a blue. This is peacock blue. So this is mopping up just the design stencil. And then when we remove these, I'm going to go ahead and mop up on top of that other 
the silhouettes because they were underneath the stencil design. So there was a little bit of Tattered Angels on those. And then when we lift these, now we have a journal line page that has lines and then the openings. What do you think of that? Isn't that kind of fun? Now you can flip over the back side and spritz it just a little bit with some Tattered Angels. And then I'm going to show you some other ideas. So now I'm going to take the stencil design and lay that on the back side, kind of lining it up where the stencil design kind of bleeds through to the other side. I'm going to use some washi tape. I've got a little piece here to hold the stencil in place. And then I've got a little blending tool and Mermaid Lagoon uh, Distress Oxide. You can use any ink really, but the idea is that we're going to go in here with this little blending tool and go inside that stencil design. So this is when I don't want to spray again with Tattered Angels because sometimes it will saturate the whole page. I'll use this little brush to go in here and add a little bit of color. I could also use the brush with Tattered Angels and just be very gently to not get too much on the page so it doesn't bleed all the way through. And then I'll use a baby wipe later to wipe off the stencil, but this is what it looks like after I've stenciled on there. Isn't that kind of cool? I don't know. I'm having fun with this. I hope you're liking what I'm doing here. And, you know, maybe if you don't have these stencils and you can't afford those stencils, you can trace some pieces of paper and lay them down and try some techniques. All right, so here's a few samples of things that I did prior to the video. So here I sprayed through the stencil and got the silhouette images, and then I used the Brand, flowering branch and just stamped all the way around. On the other side, I stamped again and this time I did the same technique what I did with the um, distressing little tool and colored in the center there. So that is one look. This one I sprayed through the stencil, lifted the stencil, masked, put the texture stencil down and then spray to get that look. On the other side I laid down the stencil and just went ahead and did the inner portions and it lines up pretty well on both sides. On this one it was a mop up of when I sprayed through the stencil so this teal area was what was on the stencil material and then I laid down the journal line stencil and went with a shaded lilac across here and then did the outside edge just a little bit and added some rubber stamped images and then the other side I just used the stencil design. Since I've got this laid out here I'm going to do one more thing. I've got these shabby stitches and I'm going to lay my stencil back on top. So let's get this lined up I think right here. And I'm going to ink up the shabby stitches on jet black. Kind of line it up as best I can. And then I'm going to stamp across on the stencil and add journaling lines in each little spot. That may be a little close together, but <laughs> I think you get the idea of it. And again, just, you know, you can clean your stencil off after the fact. I don't usually bother cleaning my stencils up that much. I probably should have put some washi tape down. And then there's your journaling space right there. Isn't that kind of fun? Anyhow, I thought I would share these with y'all, give you some ideas of making journal pages using stencils and rubber stamps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, call me if you have any comments, and I'd look for the description box below for the links to the products that I used in making these little journal pages. And I hope you're inspired to create. You now I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, and on Thursdays at 12.30, 
7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mondays, I make junk journals and junk journal elements. On Thursdays, we do mixed media. So we'll do gel printing and direct to paper and painting on paper and just all kinds of collage and mixed media and that kind of stuff. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Have a fabulous day. Bye.